There's lots of love on this channel that needs to be shared, so share. Hey guys, so welcome back. So, if you're new here, hello, my name is Yami. I have done a lot of cloth nappy videos. A couple of years ago when I did a massive playlist of cloth nappy videos, it made me think I need to kind of update some of those videos. The playlist is there, I'll leave it down below. But I am gonna start doing a few kind of more up-to-date versions. Today, I'm gonna be talking to you about the thing that everybody asks me when, when it comes to cloth, and that is what happens to the poo? Where does it go? Does it go in the washing machine? How do you deal with it? And uh, so just a warning, there will be a lot of poo discussion in this video. If you don't like talking about poo, then you better look away, watch something else. But there will be a lot of talk about poo. There won't be any photos or imagery. I had thought about using a few kind of props, Play-Doh or something, but we're not going to go into that. We're just going to talk about it. When you first have your baby and if you're clothing from newborn, you do not have to worry about their poo, okay? You don't actually really have to worry about flushing their poo until they are weaning and eating solid food. So newborn, particularly breastfed poo, is completely water soluble. So you can put it straight in the wet bag and stick it in the wash and you don't have to worry about it at all. I still use a fleece liner anyway, just to keep them stay dry, especially if you're using a two-part system. Um, fleece is very stay dry. So if you're using a muslins, prefolds, whatever system you're using and it doesn't have fleece already on it, then a fleece will help them feel stay dry and it will also help prevent staining. But you don't actually have to worry about rinsing it off. You put it straight in the wash. Now formula fed poo, so there's a big debate as to whether you can do this and most people say no. However, I didn't know that with my eldest. I read somewhere that you could, so I did. Now he was formula fed for four months and I had no issues whatsoever putting his poo in the in the machine it 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 came out like my machine was fine like I had no issues at all no problems with the machine nothing when they start to wean however it's a different story you can use two different types of liners you can use a fleece liner which is obviously reusable or you can use a biodegradable flushable liner now in my last video of washing cloth nappies, I did mention that you can flush these. Now, I don't know about in America, but in the United Kingdom, you don't want to be flushing these. Whilst they do biodegrade, they will biodegrade, so that's not the issue. The issue is that they will eventually block up the drainage system, system the same way that wipes will. So if you're flushing these at every nappy change, you're going to block your system. And I've heard of people having dyno rod out and all sorts, and it ended up costing them a pretty expensive bill. Particularly slightly older houses and older draining system, systems. Now saying that, I used to flush mine all the time. And I never had a problem in my old house, but that doesn't mean to say that Betty down the road in number whatever, like all the way down, five, six houses down, isn't going to have a problem with her drainage system if it travels and gets blocked up down the end. I don't know. So the rule of thumb is if you can hold something, and this is anything, so a wipe or a piece of paper, kitchen towel, anything, underneath the sink for 10 seconds and nothing happens, it doesn't degrade like tissue would, then don't flush it, okay? Odd one or two will probably be fine. A couple of brands that you can get, and I really like the Bummies brand. It's three pounds something for a roll of 100, and I'll leave a, I'll leave the details of that brand below, but actually a roll of 100 will last you forever. This is a Tot Spots uh, flushable liner that is um, come out of the wash, and this is how it'll be. So it really is one use only. You cannot rewash it, it just um, will do this and you can't reuse it. This is a Bummies one, and this one has been washed. You can wash these over and over and over again, so you don't end up wasting them. You can reuse them and reuse them until eventually they are really too small to use or you flush them down the loo and or there's been poo on them. So I highly recommend that brand because you're gonna get so much more for your money and you're not gonna have to worry about them coming out in the wash like this and you can, like I said, reuse them. There's also this option. Now this is a fleece liner. You can actually buy these in the shop, but I just cut up an old fleece um, blanket um, and this worked really well. Um, make sure it's this kind of, I don't know what you call it, like crushed fleece. 
Um, I know Ikea do a lot of these blankets, but so that when it washes, it just kind of stays as it is, if that makes sense. And fleece liners are really good if you're using a two-parter system that isn't, like I said, fleece lined. The baby might feel wet if you put this on top. This will give them that kind of stay dry layer anyway. And I still use these in any of my nappies that do have fleece in them because, like I said before, they prevent staining. When I'm at home, I just use this. You can do a number of different things. If it's wean, if your baby's weaning and it's that kind of peanut butter sticky poo, then you can just go ahead and either dunk it in the toilet and flush the toilet some people find the poo comes off that way and what I do is get the jet sprayer on my shower and spray the fleece liner and it literally will get absolutely everything off before putting it back in the nappy and putting it back in the wash bag now some people's showers may not stretch over mine does thankfully and I've never really had an issue with it in America there's a really common thing that they have which is diaper sprayers and you basically it's a sprayer that you connect to the toilet system now in the UK we don't sell them because it goes against the plumbing regulations and apparently it's illegal which is ridiculous because who's going to come to your house and like report you to the police it's a bit silly now no maddy daddy and tiny mama have done a video and they have installed one in their in their toilet and they've not had any trouble so I think it's really up to you my husband wasn't prepared to kind of go that far for um, our nappies he was like you can just use the shower so and that's what we do it's works out fine now if you think about how often your baby poos, it's not every single change. I mean, it's Sebastian used to only poo like once a day. Albert eats a lot more. He poos like two to three times a day. But sometimes in that time we are out and about so we don't really have to worry. It's not really a big issue. It takes two seconds to go upstairs and spray. Now, you only need to spray if it's a really sticky poo. Majority of the time, especially when they've weaned fully and they're on solid, obviously poo is at that point then solid and you can just plop it in the loo. And the same with this, you can just plop it in the loo. So some people might be a bit put off by the whole fact that these aren't really great at flushing. Don't worry about that. If you feel that you need to use them and it's gonna help you kind of stick to cloth, then do, use them at each nappy change, which is why I recommend the bummies, so that you can just, if it's just wee, you can just wash them and wash them time again. And that if it's just, if there is poo on there, you either plop it in the loo, or if it's a really messy poo, just put it down the loo. Because if you're just flushing one poo a day I really can't see it being much of an issue personally I don't know obviously take that it's your, at your own risk but um, I definitely use these when we're out and about that's for sure and I always will just flush them then the cloth wipes the same with your cloth wipes I will show you now how best to change your nappy to avoid much poo on the wipe but if there is you can just put it in the loo flush it if there's lots of poo on there which there very rarely is if if you go by how I show you in a minute, then you don't have to worry. After this video, I am actually going to be doing a video on cloth wipes, just cloth wipes. It'll be probably a quick video. Hopefully, they'll go up one after the other, so you'll be able to see that. Here, I'm going to demonstrate to you how I kind of change my baby and to avoid getting any poo on my hands. So what you're gonna do is obviously once you undo the nappy and they've pooed, a bit like you would with a disposable, you just wipe as much as you can the um, fleece liner, then go ahead, plop it down the loo, just again, go ahead. I always tend to use the top of the nappy for support, kind of grip it slightly and just wipe what you can off and then flush that down and then then their bum will be kind of relatively clean enough that you can use a wipe without having to do any rinsing or sluicing or anything like that you can put it straight into the wet bag so that's pretty much it if there's any more questions that you need to ask me or you feel you need to ask me let me know that was a pretty not really graphic but in-depth just you know a description and demonstration of what to do and how to change your you know to avoid touching any poo i know people that use a poo screen Scraper. They don't use any of the flushable liners at all and their children chronically have quite sticky poo and if need be they use a poo scraper. That's where I totally draw the line. I'm not using any poo scrapers. I'm not doing anything like that. I draw the line at that and that's why I have wanted to show you and explain to you how we do it so that you can not feel put off and to 
like keep going basically on your cloth journey because cloth is such an amazing way to look after the planet it takes 500 years to biodegrade a nappy and you know if we are out and about or going on a long day out then sometimes we do use the biodegradable nappies that we get we use natty baby they're a really awesome nappy they are just as good as any other nappy on on the market i've never had any trouble with them whatsoever they are very very absorbent and best thing of all they are biodegradable they're not going to sit in landfill for 500 years so it is a really good way to um look after the planet and it is a bit better for your baby as well and they are a lot cooler believe it or not a lot of people think that uh, that cloth nappies are much hotter than disposables they are in fact two degrees cooler so they're a really good option in really hot countries or in summertime so yeah i really wanted to show you it because i think the poo thing can be a real put off for people and i don't want it to put people off so thank you so much for watching i'll go ahead now and film a video all about cloth wipes if you're interested on in seeing that please make sure you subscribe if you do subscribe please um click the bell to get notified every time i upload and if you have friends or whatnot that cloth nappy if you're on cloth nappy views, please share this video i'm trying to get this channel to grow please share this video there's lots of love on this channel that needs to be shared so share right i'll see you in the next video bye